Hi friends, I'm Miss Kristen Brown, Walden School Librarian, and I'm very excited to be able to share a story and some fun activities with you today. I also have a special guest, Mrs. Janine Fink, one of Walden's music teachers, who is going to do a musical activity with you today as well. So that is a fun new addition to our preschool story time. If you have attended a preschool story time before or have done any read aloud with me, then you know my little friends always like to start out with the story song. So we are going to stand up and sing that. So everybody ready? Hands go up and hands go down. I can spin myself around. I can stand up on one shoe. I can listen, so can you. I can sit, I'll show you how. Story time is starting now. So now we are all quietly sitting down and we are ready to listen to the story with our whole bodies. Great. Today, we are going to be reading The Snow Dancer, written by Addie Boswell and illustrated by Mercedes Lopez. Hope you guys enjoy this one. The Snow Dancer, written by Addie Boswell, illustrated by Marseille Lopez. Sophia was asleep when the snowflakes came. All through the night they fell, frosting the rooftops, bluffing the sidewalks, laying fuzzy hats on the fire hydrants. When she woke, Sophia flew to the window. Snow day, she asked. Snow day, she said. Snow day, she cheered. Her voice hung in the still air. No buses squealed. No cars honked. No neighbors shouted. Her city and all its sounds had disappeared. Sophia bundled out of the sleeping house. She sniffed the cold, clean air and tasted the sparkling snow. Whomp! She fell down the hidden steps. Crunch, 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 crunch. She hopscotched down the invisible sidewalk. Slish, slush, slish, slush. She skated across the frozen street. She slid to a stop at the top of the park. The sun shone like a giant spotlight. The soccer field gleamed like a giant stage. There wasn't a single set of footprints yet. Sophia leaped. She twirled, she made patterns with her footprints. Crunch, 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 crunch. She drew lines with her shuffles. Slish, slush, slush, slush. She danced a whole ballet into the silence. Until children appeared at the top of the hill. Look, whispered a little girl, a snow fairy. But the other kids didn't hear. They saw the giant spotlight and the giant stage. They shouted snow day as they ran skelter melter down the hill. Stop, Sophia said, wait, listen. But the kids didn't stop. They were too busy running and jumping, laughing and yelling, pushing and falling, scattering all of Sophia's beautiful silence. A little girl tugged on her scarf. Are you a snow fairy? I'm not a fairy. I'm just a dancer, sniffled Sophia. What does a snow dancer do? Sophia thought for a moment. She stood up a little straighter. A snow dancer can do anything. She reached out her hand. I'll show you. 
The other kids stomped roads that crisscrossed the stage. Crunch, 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 crunch. And Sophia and her new friend twirled through the blank spaces. The other kids cannonballed themselves into the snowdrifts. Kasploosh, kasploosh. And Sophia and her new friend leaped over them on their tiptoes. They skated and swirled and slid until a snowball landed, splat, right on Sophia's shoulder. The kids froze. A silence fell over the park. The snow dancer looked to her sidekick. They shared a secret smile, a secret snow dancer smile. Snowball fight, Sophia shouted. Sploosh, sploosh, sploosh. Skitter, wish, slap. Whomp. Soon the kids were too tired to throw one more snowball. They lay scattered in the snow and listened to the sounds moving closer. Snow plows pulled out. Screech, screech, scrape. Buses started their engines, huff, huff, haroon, and parents called their kids home to shovel. Sophia spread her arms and gave her new friend a grand curtsy. The girl curtsied back. Then the snow dancer twirled in the white world once more and turned for home dancing in her frozen footprints. Crunch, 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 slish, slash, slish, slash, whomp. At home, Sophia snuggled in with a mug of cocoa. Sniffle, sniffle, sigh. Outside, the world sparkled and glistened. Snow day, Sophia whispered. And that is the end of this story. I really hope you enjoyed that. I know the weather has been a little warmer for December, but hopefully we will get some snow soon and you can do some snow dancing of your own. So stay tuned for some fun sensory and literacy and music activities. Thanks for listening. Hey guys. So I hope you enjoyed that reading of The Snow Dancer. We are getting ready to do a two-part literacy and sensory activity to go with the book. Um, it talked a lot about how Sophia and her friends made patterns in the snow. So we are going to make some snow of our own to practice patterns or our letters or sight words. That'll be super fun. So what you need to get started is a cookie sheet, um, a small bowl, some cornstarch, and if you want to, you can add in some peppermint essential oil and some glitter. So we're just going to take our cornstarch and dump it into our mixing bowl. A pretty good amount, enough to fill your cookie sheet. I kind of just eyeball it. And then right into that, we are going to dump our glitter. Again, a good amount. I think that's good. Oh, why not put the whole thing in there? And then we're gonna mix that with our hands. So you get to get good and messy at this one. That's always fun. Okay, until that's all nice and mixed in there. All right, next, if you want to, you can add a few drops of peppermint essential oil in there. So it's going to be sparkly and smell good. All right. And then you can go ahead and you can mix that gently with your hands. Don't be too rough with it or you will get cornstarch everywhere. I've already made a mess. All right. And when that's all nice and mixed up, we are going to gently Dump that out onto our cookie sheet. Deposit that there. All right, looks like a big snow pile. We're gonna try to spread it out as evenly 
as we can without making too big of a mess. All right. And now you are ready to trace your patterns in the snow. So take your finger and just move it all around there. I know that's kind of hard to see, but if I move my pan anymore, I'm going to dump it out. So make some tracks in the snow. You can just make patterns or you can smooth it back out and you can start drawing um, your letters. So I'm gonna try to do this upside down so I can tilt it and you can see it. So your ABCs. So you can trace your letters in there. You can do uh, your some sight words if you're working on sight words. So maybe snow would be a good word to practice. S-N-O-W. So that is just a fun way to practice doing some writing or pattern making with your fingers and get a little messy. So then when we're done with our letters and our patterns, we are going to dump our mixture back into our bowl um, as gently as we can so as not to make a huge mess. go. Um, Grown-ups, I'm going to apologize in advance <laughs> for this, but it's so much fun. The mess is worth it. Oop. I'm going to have some cleaning to do. Oh, right in my lap. <laughs> right in there. Okay. I got most of it back in the bowl, so I'm going to set that aside. And now we are going to do a fun sensory activity. We are going to make snow dough because one of the big scenes in the book is having a snowball fight. So we are going to make snow dough by adding some plain lotion to our cornstarch and then just mixing it up until it's the correct consistency. So and the fun thing about snow dough is that it stays cool to the touch so it feels like snow. The thing I will say is that start, you should start by adding smaller amounts of lotion because you can always add more, but you can't really take it away. And so I don't want you to use all your cornstarch and not have any to add if you get it, the mixture too um, runny with the lotion. So, and you're just gonna mix that up with your hands. And you can keep adding until it is the correct consistency. Really get in there and squeeze it together with your hands. So not only um, is this fun for, you know, uh, playing around with texture, but the squeezing and the mixing with your fingers are also really good. It's also really good uh, for those fine motor, motor skills, um, strengthening those fingers that help us do things like cut with scissors and write with pencils and color. So that is another fun activity. All right, so I finished mixing my soda together and here's the finished product. Um, it looks like a big ball of uh, Play-Doh or modeling clay, so it's just like that. So you can make whatever you want. You can make your own snowball, just like in the book. Don't throw these though. So you can make a snowball. You can roll these up and into three different size balls and you can make snowmen. You can, um, also another way to practice um, your letters, you can roll this out in your hands. I know my hands are really messy right now and make it into, um, you know, lines. And you can practice making your letters that way. So maybe we're gonna make a, a letter A with our snow dough. So there, we rolled out um, and made oops, a letter A. So this is just super fun. It's actually cold to the touch like snow. It's fairly sparkly. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's pretty sparkly and it smells good because I put uh, peppermint essential oil in mine. 
So guys, this is super fun to play with and um, the kneading and the molding are great for developing those fine motor skills that keep our hands nice and strong uh, or our fingers nice and strong for doing things like cutting and writing. So I hope you guys enjoy this activity. I hope you get to uh, create some snow dough and have fun making a mess, but don't forget to clean up after yourself. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Storytime today. Um, stay tuned for Miss Fink's musical activity next. Thanks, guys.